Now, along with tuning into Fox 11 for your severe weather coverage, technology has also made it a lot easier to stay safe during storms. Fox 11's Beth Jones has more on that. Take shelter in a sturdy structure until this storm has passed. From weather radios to tweets and cell phone apps, when it comes to weather, there's plenty of ways to stay connected. So it's a good way uh, to, to communicate and for people to communicate with us with what they see in their backyards. Jeff Last with the National Weather Service says the use of social media at the Weather Service continues to grow. The NWS currently has 1,000 followers on Twitter and more than 2,000 fans on its Facebook page. He says they're great tools to keep tabs on storms and their impact. It's grown quite a bit over the last uh, few months, in fact. Uh, as the weather becomes more active, uh, more people will follow us um, on Facebook and on, on Twitter. But if you want an alert coming right to your cell phone, Fox 11 provides severe weather text alerts. The Federal Communications Commission also has a similar program. You can rely on, on TV and radio as far as you can, but if you're outside and you know, you're wondering what's going on or what's happening, use a mobile device, use apps. But while it is convenient and sometimes useful to have tools at your fingertips, emergency management officials say a weather radio is one of the most reliable tools out there. In the middle of the night, if you know, you're, you're going to bed at uh, 1, 1 a.m. or something like that, or if you're in bed at 1 a.m., then you definitely want that um, all-hazards weather radio. In Green Bay, Beth Jones, Fox 11 News.